but Whitney doubted her talent and declined the bodyguard role until Costner called her. Costner's presence on set gave her confidence. As filming progressed, Costner's feelings for Whitney grew. The film was very successful, and Houston, when she passed away, Costner stood before everyone and gave a 17-minute farewell speech, speaking as a person, not an actor. It could have been Michelle Pfeiffer, it could have been Julia Roberts, it could have been anybody. But when I looked at it, I thought, no, it's, it should be Whitney Houston. I got word that he wanted me to do this film and that he didn't want anybody else to do it beside me. That intrigued me. Why can't anybody else do this film? For me, it was so easy to go, well, this is the most beautiful girl. This is the one who can sing. This is the girl. We had this relationship, and my promise was to protect her. You don't look like a bodyguard. This is my disguise. <laughs> Arguably the biggest pop star in the world wasn't sure if she was good enough. She didn't think she looked right. There were a thousand things to her that seemed wrong. I held her hand and told her that she looked beautiful. I told her that I would be with her every step of the way.